I'm Mandy and I'm back uh, finishing off my first palette from Bulk, B U L Q dot com. If you saw my other video, you know what this is all about. If not, um, just a quick recap Bulk.com, B U L Q dot com, is a liquidation site from the website Blink.com, which kind of gives discount deals off of popular items. So I bought a palette of uninspected returns from them. So far I'm liking what I'm seeing, but I'm going to go ahead and keep opening things up for you so you can check it out for yourself. Let's dive right in here. I started to open this one on my, on my first video, but I got cut off. This is just a box of fleece leggings, fleece lined leggings. A few different colors. We've got blue, gray, dark gray, and black. And they're like size large and extra large, and I think it goes up to like 3XL. Even. Next, we have this. It's a furniture protector, kind of like a slip cover. You stick it on your sofa, makes it look nice, and keeps it clean. Kind of a nice rust red, burgundy type color. Oh, here we've got a pair of Kenneth Cole, looks like men's shoes. Men's dress shoes from Kenneth Cole. Very nice looking. They don't appear to have been worn at all. So we'll go ahead and stick that back in the packaging. This is, I think, another pair of riding boots or ladies boots from A2 from Aerosol. Oh, okay, yeah, this is just a pair of the like knee-high type of types of boots. Again, they don't appear to be worn. Back out of the way. Okay. Here we've got what looks to be a, a New England Patriots backpack. Kind of a nice, nice item. It's NFL licensed. This is the the real deal on here is sports memorabilia. Is it really memorabilia if there's like no memory like associated to it? Like I can understand like Babe Ruth baseball or something, but like that's really more like paraphernalia, like sports paraphernalia than memorabilia. Okay. Oh, this is a really pretty Really pretty quilt set in the bag. Kind of a nice floral type of design, paisley-ish. This is a very soft looking, kind of like a throw blanket. It's a queen size, I believe. Yes, it's a queen size or full size blanket. This is a Motorola HX600 Boom um, Universal Bluetooth headset for if you're if you're driving or just need to go hands free. This is it says certified refurbished. I'm not gonna. 
bust into that right now. It feels like it is in there. Wow, this is actually a very large uh, backpack. I was actually expecting something that would be more along the lines of like a school backpack, but this would almost, this would be like a good size to take uh, hiking. Um, or for any sort of like a college kid or high school kid. It's supposed to be able to comfortably fit a laptop, but I feel like you could definitely fit a light, lot more. And it's it's pretty lightweight too. So if you're hiking and you're worried about how much weight you're carrying, that would probably be a pretty good bag. Let ourselves another mystery box here. I was a little concerned when I ordered that things were just going to be rattling around inside of this palette, but they did a pretty good job of packing it actually, and I like that they included some things in smaller boxes. Although they did it mostly with soft goods, which is what it appears to be. Yeah, this is more sweatpants. Uh, large, extra large, different sizes, different kind of pastel tones here. A little gray pair in there, black pair. Um, stuff like that is always good for small sales. I'll go ahead and get this one out of the way. I'm not going to take this one out because it's rather large. So you can see this one is actually a all-in-one printer, a photo printer. And it is Definitely in there. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to be careful. I'm just going to put it in here, actually. You see my child. What next? What is this? Oh, okay. Here comes the hanger. This is a London Fog ladies coat, very warm. This isn't exactly the season for that, um, but I'm willing to sit on it for a little bit to get the money out of it. Usually, you know, you'd, you'd be worried about taking up real estate, but if I stick this down into a, a Ziploc vacuum, vacuum bag, it's not going to take up a ton of room, and that'll keep it good and good and fresh for for winter. Okay, this is another pair. It looks like a riding boot in the packaging, but it is actually a rain boot. It's a tall quilted black rain boot. I think I've got two sets in there. Let's see if I can just. Maybe I don't see it off. Uh, okay. Moving on. We have, oh, Icon Apparel. These are just more sweatpants. I know you probably think I'm a crazy person for ordering a ton of sweatpants, but I can get rid of them at five bucks a pop. You know, it kind of keeps a constant constant flow of, of income, even if it's just a little bit, it still gives you sales and sometimes a customer will say, hey, do you have anything else available? And then you can kind of, kind of upsell them. This is another really nice looking purse. It's definitely like a nice leather material. It feels like it is actual leather. Very nice. Franco Venucci. I think these are another pair of men's shoes. So I think these are... Oh, okay. These come in their own little dust bags too. I think really nice, really nice. These look like they've been tried on one time. I guess the person probably just wasn't impressed, or maybe they were just too large. They sent them back. Not bad. Not bad. 
that at all. Okay, up next we have, oh, this is a pack of Marvel, Marvel brand, like Marvel licensed t-shirts. <laughs> so you can see, they come in different, different designs, I won't show you all of them. There's Hulk, there's Captain America, there's, oh, just the full Avengers. That's a good thing with all these uh, hero movies coming out. People want to get, they want to get the t-shirts, you know. This is Adidas. I think it's another golf shirt, actually. I don't, know. I don't want to open the packaging that way. It looks like another... Another little golf shirt like you saw in my first video. Okay, these are a cute little pair of, of ladies' boots, just like a mid-shaft style boot. They don't appear to have been worn or tried on or anything like that. Very nice looking. I think those might even sell even though it's not really the season for that just because they're they're a lower rise boot so people can still wear them with their shorts they can dress them up things like that okay here we've got just your run-of-the-mill otter box uh, Defender series for the iPhone 6 Plus. Um, doesn't appear to have been opened, so packaging has not been tampered with on that. Um, another, another ladies' coat. This one's by Mark New York, by Andrew Mark. Um, so again, this is one that I'll probably just seal up into a Ziploc bag. Soft goods are good like that. You can you know, keep them and then they don't take up too much space while you're waiting to sell them. Very nice coat, very heavy, very warm. Maybe somebody might like that for going up to Mount Charleston or, or something nice or, and then you're on vacation. Another pair of the quilted rain boots. This right here is a um, pet carrier bag for when you're on the airplane. It's purple. Feels pretty, pretty rugged. Feels pretty high quality too. So there's a lot of pet people around here. I think that'll sell. In fact, I know somebody was asking on on a yard sale group if anybody had one available. So I might be able to get somebody off of there. Uh, instant door screen. This is one of those screens that you put up when you want to have your door open, but you don't want to have bugs coming in and out. Pretty good. This is a dust bag for... For a purse, and I actually want to take one of these purses out and show you. Because these purses are pretty decent. Like really nice looking. This is a brand new bag. It's by Desain. Desain. I don't know if I said that right. It's pretty large. It's got a little lock feature on it. Um, very large on the inside. And I like that it does come with its own dust bag as well. Feels, feels very high quality. Sorry, I just went off camera again. Uh, I'm just going to move on. Okay. Pair of um, of 
the sandals like in my first video. They were just marked as unknown women's footwear on the manifest, but that's that's what they are. This is another ladies' coat. This is a lighter one. It's by Stanzino. It's a double-breasted military coat, navy blue. Oh, I thought this was dusty. It's just their packaging. This is the Shadow Guards, um, Shadow Guards phone screen protector for the iPhone 6 Plus or 6S Plus. That'll be good. These are very, very good screen protectors. This just feels like an empty thing. I don't know. There could be something in there. But it could have just been accidentally stuck in. Oh! Always check everything, folks. Always. This is a... I think it was 18 karat gold chain. Very nice. Very delicate looking. I think I could probably sell that one fairly quickly. And the bag that it came in is actually ripped in that side. So I'm just gonna put it back in this bag, this big old thing, before I lose it completely. Like just now. <laughs> um, yeah, just a basic little gold chain. Um, honestly, like I might even just just measure that one and sell it as scrap gold if I don't if I don't sell it for the price of the jewelry. So here is a ladies cardigan. Like a ladies fringe cardigan with a hood. It's kind of nice looking, very it's a little bit warm, but it's also something that would be nice to wear over shorts if you're going to be like outside at night in the, in the summer. That's, that's fairly seasonable. Seasonable. Is that even a word? I'm making up words here. Left and right. Um, we've got us one more. Ooh. This is a heavy mystery box. I'm actually really excited for this one. This doesn't sound like it's soft goods either, so. What's in the box? Show me your secrets. Mysterious box. What? what is it? Oh, okay. Okay, well right off the top I'm seeing, I'm seeing a glass shard, so I'm a little concerned considering this is a 20 piece um, glass food storage set. This this piece right here is okay, um, and the piece inside of it looks fine. There might be oh, yep, I found it. I'm not gonna keep digging through that box because there is a piece, and it looks like it's only one piece from the set that is broken, which is good because the rest is definitely sellable. I'll have to be careful though to make sure all the glass is cleaned up. Um, but otherwise, otherwise it's fine. Um, okay, last but not least, and I've got to get back in the box for this. This is a really nice looking leather cuff band. It's genuine leather for the Apple Watch. I think this is pretty stylish looking. It'll look really nice. Kind of a nice contrast with the Apple Watch. And that is that is it for my box. With, with everything, I have 54 pieces. Between the cost of the merchandise plus the shipping, which came from, from the East Coast. Um, I don't know if it says where. Oh, it came from Kentucky. Yeah, it's not bad. So, from Kentucky to Nevada, it probably took a week and a half to two weeks, I think, to get here. Um, but it was only $150 shipping, which is really good. I think it, in most cases it probably would have been a lot more to get here. And 
everything everything was actually a lot better than I actually anticipated it would be. I kind of even expected that 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 food storage was going to be smashed all to bits, but it was it was bubble wrapped up pretty well. Sometimes you have sacrifices, and that one just you know took the took the hit, I guess. Everything else was really good. I'm really excited. I think I'm going to make a pretty decent amount of money off of this one. And I'm really thinking of placing another order with them soon to keep keep the inventory coming in. Um, so like I said, everything, everything, it came out to, I think, $557 between the cost of merchandise and shipping. Um, which came out to $10 and I think 31 cents a piece. A little bit higher than I would have liked, but I'm definitely going to make two or three times that off of this. So I'm okay with that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to make sure that my other video is like linked down below or wherever so that you can see it. It should even come up on the side of this. Um, if you'd like to go ahead and just subscribe so you can see any future videos that I post. I'm definitely planning to do more unboxing videos between between bulk and any other liquidations that I do. I might do some more um, business videos, show show how I work, and you can see what's up. Um, I'm Mandy, and thanks for watching.